Hey everyone, I'm Austin with Training Tall, and you probably can't tell on camera, but I am six foot eight. But Training Tall is all about giving you the tips and strategies to help you take your fitness and health above the average, no matter how tall you are. And today we're gonna be doing a quick review of the Iron Chest Master. Now the Iron Chest Master is designed to help you upgrade the traditional push-up. With traditional push-ups, where essentially you are pushing yourself up and down, I mean, we all know a push-up, the Iron Chest Master uses resistance bands and sliding handles to add an arm adduction component to the traditional push-up. Okay, Austin, so you push up and move your arms together. What's the point? Well, when it comes to getting a full contraction out of our pectoralis major, the big chest muscle, one of the main functions of that muscle is to adduct the arm, to bring the arm across the body. And you can even sit down and test this yourself, put your hand at the top of your chest muscle and move your arm across your body. You can feel your chest muscle activate. And that's exactly what this machine helps you do with your traditional push-ups. So the idea is that you're getting more chest activation out of each rep of your push-ups because you're doing more functions and motions that the chest was really designed to do. Now this is accomplished through the resistance bands that work here on the sliding handles. And what's nice about the resistance bands, and not only on this machine, but resistance bands in general, is that you get more resistance the more you stretch the bands. And so you get the full contraction of your chest, not here when you first start initially moving your arms, but when you bring your arms fully together at the top of the motion. Now, can you actually feel this? Does it actually feel like your chest is working more? Yes, it does. And you know what, it makes your push-ups way more challenging than just the standard up and down push-ups that you do. Especially when you really focus on controlling the in and out motion of the handles, you feel your chest pump up and light up so much more than you do with regular push-ups. Now being someone who's pretty tall, the first thing that I was really worried about before trying this out was that this machine wasn't going to be wide enough for me because you can see that the handles here, they're kind of fixed in place. But what's really cool is that these handles actually adjust based off of the width of your shoulders. So they've got an extra tall function and it's really easy to just essentially click a button and slide the handles down or up to, ac to accommodate for however wide your shoulders are to make sure that you feel comfortable and safe during your reps. And so for all my tall folks out there, this machine actually does accommodate for you. Now, if you're over seven feet tall and you've got crazy broad shoulders, maybe not so, but for a majority of people, 99.9% .9 of people, this, this has the adjustments that you would need to fit your body size. So if you order this, you get the six red resistance bands, three for each handle. And each band creates about 10 pounds worth of resistance at the max stretch of the bands. But what's really nice about this machine is that you can interchange the bands in and out as you need to. So you don't even need to have all three bands attached. You can simply unattach one band, two bands. I definitely don't recommend detaching all three because then you have no resistance on the adduction. And that's one of the most important components to actually getting the adduction function and results out of your chest is you need to have resistance when you do so, which is exactly why if you're like, hey, why don't I just take some plates and slide them across the ground? Well, there's no resistance when you create, when you do that. So regardless of whatever your current fitness level is or your ability to do push-ups or use this machine, you can simply take out bands if you need to and work your way up from there. But as a tall guy with a rowing background, I have a pretty weak chest and I've found that just the three bands on here when doing just normal sets of max effort push-ups, yeah, you get a heck of a lot more out of this thing than you do with your standard push-ups. You can scale those back to push-ups that are on the knees, or you can even go for more of a challenge by going into a decline push-up with your feet up on a chair or a bench. Overall, every rep that you're doing, you're just feeling much more activation out of your chest. It feels like each rep of the push-ups is much more challenging. Now, one of the drawbacks of this machine, in my opinion, is that it really has just one use. It's for your push-ups. It's to make your push-ups more challenging, and it does a really great job at doing that. However, there's not really much more you can do with this machine. You can do something like a resisted crunch, but as far as the resistance that you feel when doing this, it's kind of more of a gimmicky exercise than anything. One of the big props that I do have for the Iron Chess Master are the little pamphlets and documents that it comes with. It does a really nice job of explaining exactly how to use it and how to scale the exercise based off of your current fitness level, which is just so important for beginners. You wanna make sure that when you're using this that you know how to use it right, you know how to adjust it, etc. and the pamphlets that it come with do a good job of explaining that. Now with this machine, it also comes along with access to follow along 
fitness videos, as well as sort of a weekly workout plan to go along with it, where you would follow along with these videos. Now, after going through all of these different exercise videos that it comes with, no matter what the title of the video was, whether it was a shred or a burn or a build, the videos were all kind of the same thing, really, just working on intervals of doing things like push-ups, with step ups as cardio in between, sometimes doing that core exercise, that resisted crunch. But some videos that also worked in other pieces of equipment like the optional resistance bands that are sold separately from the device. And so some of the workouts you realize, oh, I actually need some of the other equipment in order to do them, which is kind of a bummer because you bought this for this in the chest master workouts. So, you know, that's kind of a drawback. And to be honest, I was hoping to see a little bit more variety with the workouts, but they're all kind of the same thing. Intervals of using this or doing some sort of exercise with some active recovery step up cardio in between. Personally, I find that this machine works best for just creating simple set based workouts where you do three to four sets, 10 to 15 reps or max reps or whatever have you, just treating it more of like a traditional hypertrophy exercise. That's how I use it anyway. I'm not a huge fan of follow along fitness classes for myself personally, but that might be something that you enjoy. All right, let's talk about the sticky situation. The price point. This thing comes in at $100. Now, is $100 worth it for what this provides? It's really situational. There's a lot of things to consider. If you're someone who's looking to get better at push-ups, improve your max rep push-up count, and have another option to enhance your at-home training, if you don't have dumbbells, if you don't have access to a ton of different equipment, this can provide a seriously awesome variation to your traditional push-ups. And if you use it consistently, you will get better and increase your max rep count on your push-ups. Like if you were training for a specific type of fitness test where push-ups were really, really important and you were using this consistently every day, then it could be worth it. If you have some extra money to spend on fitness equipment, this could be worth it. For the average person, again, it just all really depends on how much you're willing to spend and how much use you plan to get out of this. Do you need this machine in order to get better at push-ups, in order to build a strong chest and just get stronger at push-ups in general? No, you don't. You don't need this in order to do that. But does this encourage you to do more push-ups well, in that case, if it's gonna make you exercise and it's gonna make you do them, then that might be worth it. So those are the types of considerations to consider when you think about picking this thing up. Now, as far as the overall quality and build of this thing, it's really lightweight, which is nice because it's easy to store and easy to move around. Does the quality feel like $100 worth of quality? Mm, not necessarily, but it's also not gonna break on you. It feels sturdy enough. The slides are nice and smooth. And you know, you can bang this thing up without having fear that it's just gonna break on you. So final verdict on this product, is it worth it? In my opinion, most people can get the results they're looking for without this. If you're someone with very specific push-up goals or you're really looking for some incentive to add variation to your at-home workouts, if you're just sick of your normal push-ups, this can be worth it for you. But it comes with a pretty pricey price tag for what you actually get out of this. And the follow-along workouts, they're okay. They're not the greatest in the whole wide world. So just being honest with you, hopefully this video can give you a nice look into this machine, give you some, a better idea of whether or not it will be worth it for you or not. But I hope this video could be helpful. I hope it could give you a little bit more insight into this machine. If you have any more questions about the Iron Chest Master, I've been using this quite a bit recently, so please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you own this thing as well. Do you like it? Do you think it's worth it? That's gonna overall help the whole community make better buying power decisions for themselves. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe for more fitness related content, tall person related content too. Um, and ring the bell too if you don't, if you haven't done so already so you get notifications from me. And thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video.